What's going on guys? Pekta here bringing you the 23rd episode of the puck drop. We ended the last episode winning 11 to 2. 11 is the most pucks we will ever drop, have ever dropped so far in this series. It probably is going to be the most we're going to drop for the rest of this season. Unfortunately, I've lost two of the pucks since I bought the six original. They're like soft foam little floor hockey pucks. I lost two of them, so we only have four right now. And we have 200 points in the point bank. And I'm going to say because we hit double digits, I'm going to allow myself to deposit two of these prizes into the point bank. Somebody in the comment section said to save up for an extreme NHL award pack. There are plenty of people who post on Twitter all the time and get amazing things out of the extreme pack. So we're going to try that out for a couple times, see if our luck can't get better because I swear we've opened like 10 middle special packs over the course of the last month and a half and haven't gotten anything. So we have 11 pucks to go ahead and drop. We have 142,000 coins in the bank right now and we have 18 gold rare reroll packs ready to go. And I'm super hyped for it, so let's start dropping these pucks. We're looking for gold pluses. Oh, it's just a gold pack. We are so close to hitting pay dirt on the first puck. And oh my gosh, they're buzzing. They're magnetized towards that gold plus pack. So we're gonna open up another one, two, two golds right now. That's gonna be a silver plus pack. Last puck before we have to start taking them from the board and that, dude, are you kidding me? That's like the perfect spread right there. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna have to write these down because I've never dropped 11 pucks before. So if we get one more gold plus pack, that means we can go ahead and open up an extreme pack. 700 times two plus 200 is going to be 1600 points, which is how much the extreme packs cost. But we're gonna try and go ahead and pull ourselves a Stanley Cup player, get to the inside. That's a trash pack right there. We don't want anything that low on the board. Come on, now they're just, I don't know. They suck now. <laughs> Keep going, back to the middle. Let's go, another gold pack. One more pack, come on, we get, oh, it's gonna be the second gold plus pack and we have got ourselves an extreme pack. We still have three more pucks left to go. All right, last three pucks because we absolutely lit our opponent up. Let's go for a third gold plus pack, make this the most insane series of packs we've ever opened. That's a bronze plus pack. That definitely is unfortunate to see it kick off like that. And another gold pack. That's four gold packs we're going to be opening before the next game. And the last puck that's going to be dropped all the way down is going to be a silver plus pack. All right, so in conclusion here, we get two bronze plus packs, one silver pack, two silver plus packs, four gold packs, two gold plus packs, those two gold plus packs are going up into the corner. That's gonna give us 1,600 points just like that, and we've earned ourselves an extreme playoff pack. It's gonna be sick. We already have a lot of collectibles saved up so far. We're at 17 out of the 40 collectibles we need to do the Christmas reward set, and that's the one you guys said we need to do, the Christmas rewards, gift of giving. Try and get that new Shane. But, I mean, this is gonna take a while to open up all these packs, so we better get to it. All right, so I just realized I hadn't been recording the actual gameplay yet so we'll just show you real quick we opened up two bronze plus packs found a gold rare in there wasn't anything good silver pack had a gold collectible in it the two silver packs gave us absolutely nothing this is the first gold pack that we're going to open out of four a couple jerseys in here a couple of gold commons four injury cards that is just stupid but you didn't miss anything else i haven't done the gold rare rerolls yet and i was just like thinking Halfway through this pack, I'm like, I'm forgetting something. And yeah, I wasn't recording it just yet. All right, so there's nothing in this pack. We still got all the good packs left to go before we get into anything good. So you didn't miss anything. We're going to continue on. All right, second gold pack. Now it's time for you guys to actually see me open a pack. That didn't happen. Teppo Newman in. We got a HUD alumni card in there. And Jane Goss to spare an A4 for all the best pack we've gotten so far. Two more gold packs before we get to that extremely large hut awards and actual nhl awards not hut award cards dude this pack had absolutely nothing in it so the only gold rare card i don't think there were any gold commons in here this pack was just straight cheeks all right last gold pack before we get to the special pack we only have 100 points after this we're gonna have to buy another 100 points after this pack and look at all this tanner pearson two healing cards and then at the back another gold collectible that's two gold collectibles we've actually snagged before we got to the big pack all right we are now back with 12,000 points and getting ready to open up this extreme nhl awards pack have not opened up one of these yet there is a chance for two nhl award collectibles in here 
And if we could get like a couple more, we might actually be able to do the reroll because I think we got four from the last episode. We have a lot, but 1600 points. I hope I just selected points. Did I select points? Okay, yeah, I did. Sometimes I've selected coins before. And let's see what's in this guy right here. Sebastian Ajo is the only one. Don't shaft me now. Look, I got a couple gold ribs. The first collectible. <laughs> uh, that hurts. If we look at all of these packs, these are all gold rare player packs. Opening 19 will take me a really long time, so I want to do it in a way that's gonna be pretty fun and pretty suspenseful. So if we're sitting here in the collection right now, we can look at all the players. These are all the top ranked players. If we skip to the next page, the first player that greets us is Connor McDavid. I'm gonna open up 19 of these packs blind. You won't see them, I won't see them. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna to come to the collection with our heads down, we're gonna to skip to the next page and see if Connor McDavid is not in the top spot. If he's in the same spot right here, that means we got screwed in all of the 19 cards that we re-rolled are gonna be under him. But if any of these cards are gonna be higher than this 87 McDavid, however many spots he bumps down the line is gonna be how many cards we pulled over an 87 Hopefully we can get some of those 98 overall playoff cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and then I'll bring you back right here in three, two, one. Connor McDavid has moved two spaces. That means there are two cards higher than an 87 that we just got in these packs. Out of 19 rerolls, we got somebody good. My heart is pounding right now. All right, we're about to see who we pulled. Three, two, one. Oh, it's gonna give us suspense. All right, so we know at least it's not the bottom six. So we got two cards higher than a 92. Oh, there are both these guys right here. <laughs> I thought we would've gotten a really high card. But these two, Nicholas Freeman and Devin Taves, I mean, 93 overall cards. They're both wicked cards. One of them's, they're both left defensemen. I don't even know if we need left defensemen. Interesting. I was, I was really hoping we could get another one of those best of NHL 19 cards, but it's not gonna happen. Yerky Lume is still to this date the highest pull we've gotten. That Andrew Kozik is also six, but it looks like if we have some left defensemen who can, you know, who can shift, we might have some really skilled studs. Let's check out some of these guys. 6'2", 194, and the next guy is 6'1", 192. None of these guys really have burners, All right, but they're both so wicked fast, so we might throw them on the team. All right, so I think we're gonna have to take Ken Denico off this and put in this 93 monster. Now, here's the thing. We're obviously not moving Lume. Howie Morenz has 95 skating, 87 shot. His best attribute, though, is his 94 defense. If we bring in this guy who we don't have on the team, his speed is better, his shot is better, his hands are better, his checking is better, his defense is just suffering a little bit, but we need fast guys as we're getting up into these divisions, so I think we're gonna take him out as well. Now you guys keep telling me in the comment section, pick up Pedersen, All-Star Game Pedersen. His, his All-Star Game card doesn't show up on the market, so we can't pick him up just yet. 152,000 coins, and we still have Connor McDavid and Steven Stamkos, that 85 Stamkos, is really bringing the team down right now. So I feel like we need to replace him. So I feel like since we can't find the Pedersen All-Star Game card, the next logical thing we have to do is pick up the Steven Stamkos. Five overall points better, 97 skating, 88 shot. I mean, I gotta do it, I'm biased. So 85,000, he's gonna be on the team. That's still gonna leave us with a lot of coin left over for next episode. We still have 70,000 coins left to go. And I feel like some of those players that we have are gonna be selling for a lot. Howie Morenz is gonna be selling, Ken Denico selling. The two gold collectibles, we still have a ton of stuff to sell. And let's actually check out where we are on the set. I might just go ahead and do a reroll because if we have enough collectibles to do one of those rerolls, then I'm feeling pretty lucky and we only need six collectibles. Collectibles. How many do we have right now? I think we picked up a fair amount. All right, four. We have four collectibles, two more, and let's do a 33% chance reroll set because I struck gold when I did it earlier. I actually got, I think it was Erasmus Dalin, 97 overall, my main account, and I've lucked out with this 33% reroll set. All right, so now that we've been in this episode for at least a half hour getting through all these packs, it's time to get back into the actual gameplay. We have three points left to go to advance to division three. We are at eight points right now. We have five games left. I think it's just time to hop into this game, get our first W. Speed, speed to Bufflin, Buff Cannon. Oh, he almost put it in his own net. Messier is trying to play for me this game. 
Ooh, he got crunched. Uh oh. Oh man, he squeaked that one in there. I tried to lay him out. And his 88 Burakovsky is going to be the first person to draw blood this game. All right, we got some work to do. Let's go. Come on, Domi. Short side. There we go. What a beautiful snipe. And he's going riding into the corner. Domi ties it up halfway through the first period, assisted by Nicholas Freeman, the first point for him on the team. All right, send that line four, trying to get another goal. Gosh. Oh, he pet. All right, who is Nikita? You need to keep your stick on the daggum ice. Everybody else, I mean, can we pick up a puck and keep it? That is such a sloppy end of the first period. He passed it right to Makita, who would have been on a breakaway, and he just let the puck go straight by him. That's ridiculous. All right, end of the first period. The score is 1-1. One one. The shots are 9-5 to five in his favor. All right, let's get some better chances and go ahead in the second. All right, he's burning them. Come on, guys. Here we go. Dude, let Stamkos have that. He's the only one who's in position. Did Carlson just whiff? I think Carlson just whiffed. And he's getting hammered in the corner. Come on, guys. It's a sloppy. Dude, what in the heck was that? I think Medano just hip thrusted that puck into the net. That was such bull crap, guys. There it is. Finally, I just had to get him to bite on one of my guys. It left Cornway, probably the lowest overall on the team, out on the ice to score the goal for us. Nicholas Freeman getting his second point of the night, tying this game up once again at just about halfway through the period. Oh my gosh, what a blast. Who is that? Devin Taves? What an absolute snipe from the point. He's putting us ahead of sister from Carlson and Nikita. Dude, that kid can absolutely rip it. These young guys we got in the re-rolls are absolutely doing work and putting this team ahead. Dude, Kane, who are you passing to? That would have been a three on one. I mean, come on, man. Oh, it should be four to two right now. That was balls. Ooh, he pulled his goaltender. Seven seconds left. Dude, that is more than enough time for me to get a goal here. Come on. Domi, let's go. Oh. <laughs> Domi getting the second one. Seven seconds? I mean, maybe four? And that's if you can get a nice shot down. I mean, <laughs> that guy's kicking himself. But that's another award. Maybe that's the makeup call for our blown pass from 99K. That's the kind of second period we're looking for. Let's continue that stuff up in the third. Oh, Kane. Show me that 99 speed, or that 99 passing. There it is. Uh-oh, pump fake, short side. Oh, it's too close to the net to do that one. Come on, outside of the net. Yes, there it is. Charlie Conacher getting on the game as well. Fifth goal of the night, just after halfway through the period. That's my sweet spot. Halfway through the period, we scored a goal on each of these. Five to two, we got the three goal lead. Hopefully he puts his controller down. We can pot a couple more goals. There it is. Oh, shorthanded goal. Patty Kane getting number six. Let's go. Come on, two shorthanded goals, same game. Oh, just off the blocker. All right, that's gonna do it for the first game. Six to two is your final score. The boys absolutely came out on fire to start the episode. We're gonna check out the game stats here. 20 to 25 were the shots. We out attacked them by far. Ty Domi with three points. Nicholas, F or whatever, Freeman had two points on the night. Cornway had two points on the night as well. Season progress, we are 10 points, five and one division four. This time it's gone much better for us. We need one point over the next four games. So without further ado, let's get to the board and get on with this next game. So we have a clean zero points up in the point bank right now. We have six pucks ready to go on the board. We need one more point to get on to division three and really get closer to finishing this series up. The first one is gonna be a base silver pack. We did get a gold collectible in it the first time, so I'm not really upset about that. That's going to be another gold pack. We've had four so far in this episode, so that's definitely a sight. And there's a gold plus pack. Let's go. So we got three more packs left to go. We've already hit a gold plus pack, so it's physically impossible for us to get another extreme pack because two gold plus packs, I guess, no, we can only do one pack to the bank right now because we don't have double digits. So we're at least going to be banking 700. Let's get another one, though. Another gold plus pack so that we can go ahead and get a good player, but we can't. That's another goal pack though, which I'm definitely happy about. That's gonna mean we're gonna open six this episode. Let's go guys. That's another goal plus pack. 
One more pack left to go. Let's go for three gold plus packs. Can we get it? Let's go. Oh my gosh. Dude, we're opening so many good packs right now. We gotta get another good player. We have to get like one of those 98 overall Stanley Cup players, man. Come on. So we also did just complete the daily objectives. That is another collectible going towards what we want to do. We're also getting pretty close to the premium NHL awards pack. We gotta score some more goals, hit some more, win a couple more games, get a shutout. I mean, we're pretty close. Win three shutout, get five shutouts. I mean, holy cow. But you guys also did say to do that Artemi Panarin, just complete all the offline challenges. I'm gonna do that hopefully before the next game, if not the next one, so that I can unlock those. He has two points to burner and synergies is something I really wanna start hitting on as we're getting up to the higher divisions. But for now, we got some packs to open. All right, so we get a silver pack, two gold packs, and two gold plus packs. That is absolutely insane. Considering we already banked one of those gold plus packs, half the pucks we dropped were gold plus packs, and that is absolute hype right there. That pack wasn't. All right, moving on to the gold packs. After this, we're gonna open up six of these. We've opened up, or we're gonna open up this episode six of them. Alex Galchenyuk, come on, hit me with one of those 98 all-star players or NHL awards players. I mean, they're good cards regardless. All right, one more gold pack, and then we're gonna do two of those gold plus packs. I'm excited for those things. It's been a while since we got something good out of a gold plus pack, and I feel like our time is due. And Mike, Mikhail Backlund, meh. All right, here we go. 1,400 points worth of packs between two gold plus packs. Let's get somebody nasty in this. In this pack, we already have two 93s pulled this episode. Ugh. That's gross. All right, we're looking for one more. Once again, we're saving pretty much all these players right now because we're really trying to get all the sets done. Unlock that Joe Sackett, because he's a freak. We're skipping the animation. Three gold commons, four gold commons, and that's all she wrote. So, without further ado, nobody pulled in these guys. It's game time. All right, one point ensures us that we're gonna get to division three. Two points and we're gonna get closer to that division four title. We don't really care about the title rewards pack. I haven't really gotten anything good in them across all of my hut history across like the last couple games i think they started doing those rewards last either last year or the year before that one but we're looking for another one love this guy's jerseys there's the solar bears it's got duchene at center it's gonna be a good game oh that's such a bad challenge i don't know why i did that but thankfully he missed the net i don't even know what i was trying to do come on i suck at breakaways with that offhand same move, and there it is, big buff with the snipe shorts. Dude, that's my move. If you line up against me and I have buffling, I'm gonna walk in, fake the inside, and just rip it short side, and it's gonna be a goal. Mm. Dude, that, oh my God, he just blasted me in the corner. I couldn't do anything, my guy was still laying on the ground by the time that went in the net. Hell, oh, Christmas Duchesne scores on me. It's a sign, guys. Gotta do the Christmas gift and giving set. Come on, Kane. Redemption. And he whiffs. He whiffs off the shot to end the period. Unbelievable. I probably had more time to walk in and actually make a move, but God, depressing. All right. The score's tied up after one. Let's take it in the second. No. Are you freaking kidding me, Bufflin? Oh, Bufflin gives and Bufflin takes away. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, she grabs it and hits it off the back of Bishop. That is such trash. There it is. <laughs> All right, Stamco's getting on the board. His first point since we picked him up, and he tied it up. I mean, it, that was kind of a fluky goal as well, and our team was absolutely gassed that line. Oh my gosh. All right, tied up halfway through the period once again. All right, let's try and get a lead this time. What? Oh my god, Bishop. Dude. What is he doing out there? I was awful. I was an awful goal, Bishop. Dude, he's letting some bad goals this episode. Oh! No! He sniped it out of my hands! Are you kidding me, dude? Should have tied it up there. Bishop, I mean, he's making this hard for me. Come on, McDavid. Two on one, boys. There it is. Oh, my camera's off. Dang it. 
All right, focus up here, focus up. All right, whatever, focus up or not. All right, this game is tied up. Halfway through the period, once again, it is 3-3. Now, if Bishop can stop letting in trash goals, we might be able to pull this game out. No, 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 not like this. Oh, oh are you kidding me? Lindholm, take the puck with you, buddy. No, <laughs> don't turn it over. Oh no. Can we survive this period, please? Survive it! <sighs> and with that, we have now clinched Division 3. I <laughs> that was so stressful. Holy crap. Bishop, you need to be good in overtime, because this is where it's going to count. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here with some speed. We got Makita, McDavid. No, we got Makita. We got Patty Kane, 99. And we got some fast guy back there. I don't know who it is. No, Kane got held up at the line. How is he getting the puck back from me? So often. Here it is. Come on. Pump. There it is. <laughs> All right, Lume getting on the board for us in overtime. It's nice to see him again. Assisted from Stan Mikita. I don't know how he got back to me on so many of those breakouts. I mean, I swear he was using cheat codes, but we scored. We got the end. Bishop tried to screw him down. He's probably playing for the other team. We have clinched Division 3, and we have one more point to get that division title. And bam, snipe show. Let's go. Your stats for the end of the game, 12 shots to 16. Time on attack, very similar. Really, really good opponent. He definitely killed it, it was a very exciting game, but we ended up with the W on that one, and that's all she wrote. Four points to the board, let's go. All right, a nice overtime thrill, never hurt anyone. We are one point away from making that division four title. We got four pucks right here, the last pucks we're gonna be dropping this episode, and we're gonna drop two of them to start the episode. All right, that's a goal pack, not bad. That does not look like it's gonna... Hold the phone, that's another gold plus pack. Dude, the puck drop rewards and luck have been great over the past couple episodes. So we're gonna drop the last two and let's see what's gonna happen. That one's gonna get stuck. That one's hunting for us over the pack. Bump it to the inside and it got stuck horizontally somehow. All right, whatever. Silver plus pack, let's go. All right, so we're gonna take this gold plus pack, send it up to the rewards bank. That's 1,400 points. We're 200 points shy of getting that final extreme pack. So in the meantime, we have another gold pack, the seventh one of the episode, a silver plus pack and a silver pack. Let's go rip them. All right, silver pack, silver plus pack, and then gold. So let's kick it off with the silver pack. And in it, we are going to get the same jersey that we're using right now, the nice jailbreak jersey. Nothing so much. All right, silver pack time, 400 points. All of them guaranteed players, but they're all probably trash. JT Brown, Anthony Sorelli, a couple of Tampa Bay Lightning players or former players. And last but not least, the seventh gold pack, and not one of them has really given us anything of value. Maybe a gold collectible, but come on. Flash me some greatness right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> silver collectible, gold rare. Not the best. So we're already back to 105,000 coins. We need one point to get that Division 4 title. Let's get it in this game right now. Not leave it to overtime. Blow out our opponent. Build up that puck reward bonus super, super, super high. Let's get another 11 to 2 win to end the episode. That would be sick, but it's game time. All right, trying to go a perfect three for three. He's got Zuccarello, Eli, Stamkos as a starting center. Should be interesting. Stan Makita's left wide open, sending it back to the point. Bufflin for the one-timer to Sam Steele. Oh, trickle in, come on. At least we keep winning all these face-offs. That's definitely helping us out. And he didn't even get out of the zone. Come on, Makita. Bishop staying strong for us. All right, we're going to play this one. And Kane's running away from the puck. Dang it, that was so bad. 85 base damn goes. He's going sliding. All right. I know how to slip and slide too. Oh my gosh, a 76 common card. The ice tilt might be real this game. And he wants to double watch too. He wants to double watch these. He was a five on three. That was just bad playing by my part. Dude, that was a wicked screen by his other guy too. How did that shot get through? There it is. 
There's one, and to the middle of the ice, we're going diving. <laughs> Let's double watch it for good measure. There it is, Carlson. Oh, I forgot to dive. I forgot to slide and dive. You know what? We're just going to skip it, teach this guy a lesson, and then if we score another one, then we're going to slide on the ice and double watch it because, God, I hate when people make me watch their goals. It was on a five on three, too. That's just stupid. Oh my gosh, it's a 3 on 0. Why are you going to change, Conacher? I don't even know what to do there. My Conacher slowed down. My third guy just decided to change and get off the ice. Apparently that situation was just too perfect to be in. So, yeah, get out of there. <laughs> oh, crap, I forgot to slide again. I want to go sliding. All right, we're going to just double watch for good measure. How about that? Dude, these diamond cards we picked up in those rerolls absolutely killer so far they have like five points through three games but i'm liking the pace that we're scoring goals it's three goals we're not even done with the first period let's just keep it up up the gut oh through the legs domi absolutely sends that one home four goals in the first period two minutes left to go and that goal was dirty I gotta get out of here. Come on, five goals, first period. We're on pace for 15. Ooh, all right, end of the first period. This score is five to one. Hopefully he stays in there so we can just keep peppering away the shots on net. 13 to seven are your shots. I wanna see which price he has in net just real quick. All right, it's a base price. This guy has a full on base team. So I mean, do I feel bad about beating up on him because yeah, he still got silver players on his team. Yeah, I feel a little bit bad, but then again, the more rewards, the better. Six, six freaking goals. Oh my gosh. I'm just programmed though to hit triangle after I score or Y for some of you Xbox players out there because that's the secret celebration button and I need to start diving. This kid so rudely dove against me to start the game. Two for two on the power play. Let's not fail it here. Whoa, that was an ambitious tip. Oh, come on guys. Come on, Lume. Oh my gosh, dude. Price just robbed Stamkos. I want to see Lume's face, just that beautiful card flash across the screen, as well as that Stamkos card. That's a sick card, too. But, dude, Price just dogged me. Whoop, dropped my controller to end the period. All right, end of the second period. Didn't get as many goals as we would have hoped to. We are still up by six, have seven. I mean, seven is still a sick amount of goals to have right now. One period left to go. It's time to keep loading them on, though. 19 shots, we have seven goals. One period left to go this episode. We've pretty much already clinched Division Four title. Let's see what we can get. Dude, that Bishop has been playing. There he goes again. <laughs> if he makes me double watch him, I swear. I think he is. I think he is. Are you kidding me? The ball's on this guy. <laughs> I love it. I could not score a freaking goal. And Stan Coast, there he is again. Good <laughs> Bishop has been letting in some bad goals all game. I mean, you know, we are up nine to three. So, I mean, I'm not that mad, but he's gotta be better for the next game. We're up in division three then. Ooh, wait a minute. No, I tried to slide. 
the last second, it took too long, but that's the magical 10. It's not quite 11. We do have 17 seconds, we might be able to get another one. So we're gonna get the last laugh here with another beautiful goal sniped by Taves. <sighs> Feels good when you can end the episode two, game, two episodes in a row with double digit goals. So that means we get to put away two packs next episode. Oh my gosh, somehow Bishop makes like a miraculous save to end it. Uh oh, <laughs> I'm just trying to give this guy a goal to end it. But that's gonna do it, that's gonna be the end of the game. Your final score is 10 to three with this one. Let's check out some of the stats real quick. Shots were 27 to 17, over 11 minutes of time on attack. We absolutely killed it. Carlson, four points. Kane getting three points. Freeman getting two goals, which is absolutely huge from a defenseman. But that's gonna be it for this episode. This is episode number 23. And hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section, other than Elias Pedersen, who we need. We need some right defensemen. We got Carlson, Conacher, and I think Dustin Bufflin right now. Carlson's got to go. He's nice. He's, he, I mean, did just get the most points out of anybody in this game. But I feel like we could upgrade his card to an even better Carlson. It's like this one of the slower cards we have on the team. So let me know in the comment section who you think. Drop a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. We're going to do another Becoming Kucherov. Another one of these guys. We're going to hit it hard. Try and get in one more episode with this 99 lone Patty Kane. But I thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. This is Pack Daddy. I'm out.